Welcome to Season 4 of Master Saga. Each week, MBT and I open packs in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel before dueling to determine that episode's winner. This season, we've made several exciting rule changes, and there's plenty of surprises planned for future episodes. Tune in every Wednesday for new episodes of Master Saga Season 4. I'm excited to finally announce that I'm partnering with Imperium Duelist to release a playmat celebrating both Master Saga and Master Roulette. This premium quality two-player cloth mat features tons of references to the two shows, including the deck of many things, some tricky specters, and a menacing giant bird. Head over to ImperiumDuelist.com to get your mat today and use promo code DZ10 at checkout to get 10% off your entire order, not just the mat. These mats will be available for a limited time only, so don't wait. I don't know how we won a week. I feel like we weren't supposed to. Doug's deck looks like better than constructed quality. And we're basically playing with a bunch of pieces we've scrounged off the floor of a local gymnasium. But we won a week. That said, we've got a lot of ground to cover. Doug's got a really impressive deck. And our strategy still has a lot of holes in it. I mean, we are... Still coping on the trap tricks. We're making rank fours. I think that the Utopia guys are probably going to feature in whatever our next deck is just because they're so unbelievably strong, but we need to find something else to do. And of course, anything we do is gonna start with 10 master packs. As always, we are hoping for Utopia. Like theoretically, if we just get Utopia in a master pack, I will cry. Tears of joy. Um. All right. We are going to have to start applying the same tactic that we applied in our game versus Doug. Master Pack, I'm just a little birthday boy. I'm just a little boy, and I'm wearing glasses. I mean, you wouldn't open nine commons to a guy in glasses, would you? Oh my god, you really wouldn't. Whoa! Whoa! Zubaba Bancho Gaga Coat is dark, but the rest of them are not. So if we can find any supplemental dark engine, this could get going. In fact, if that opened the Raid Raptor Pack, that might be the play. Yo, Synchro Fusionist is actually very scary. Uh, love to see a four. Not that one, though. I mean, a bunch of good cards, for sure. Why don't we play? We what the fuck? We got the laser tomahawk. We got the censored tomahawk on Master Duel. Oh. Gross. Doesn't even open a pack. No. <laughs> Alright. Cloven Helm is like a Phantom Knight part of a four engine that we could try. Plus, you know how I feel about Ice Jade Acti. Um... <clears throat> I'm just like, these are so boring. I mean, no, right? We've, we've looked at that pack a number of times. No. Can we open a pack that doesn't, like, smell? Oh, Escape Device is good. That's a second copy of that. That's a Vanishing Lanius. That really makes me want to go into the Raid Raptor pack. Can we end on a Hollow? If we don't pull a UR, we get the... Tretch is big. It's great for Rafflesia. All right, well, next week looks like we will be getting a UR. I mean, that seems insane. All right, here we go. We really need a new deck. Um, MBT's cards are crazy. The Utopia cards look really, really powerful and very consistent, I would say. Um, so we really need to pull some good cards today. Obviously, the deck last week did not go as expected. I'm not sure if it was the draws or the deck. You know, when I was testing it, it seemed pretty good. That's what happens. But it is what it is. I'm not completely ignoring that type of strategy for the future. But I think for the next episode, I want to play something a bit more consistent if possible. Mayakashi Return. We've unlocked this pack before. It doesn't have the Shiranui cards in there, which is kind of surprising, by the way. Yeah, I don't know about pure Mayakashi. It does have Gozuki and Meizuki, which is kind of nice, but that's about it for the generic stuff. Um, Lunalite pack. Okay, Lunalite with Leerlisk. We don't really have a lot of cards that work in either of those decks. Right now, you know, I think we have a lot of Synchro Monsters, but we'll see. Megalo Smasher. Fuse line is actually not terrible. Uh, so flicord. Yeah, I definitely don't know what those cards do, so not playing that. Fuse line is actually like a 
not bad card at all, especially in sealed environments. In a trap deck, I would almost certainly play that. Fabled Cat Sith, let's go. I, that's a good card, actually. Tri Brigade Pack, which is obviously very good, um, although it does have three archetypes in it. And then Pendulum Treasure, not sure what Pendulum Seeker Pack that unlocks, but it's a card. I mean, I think it unlocked a pack, I'm pretty sure. Pack number six. Limit Reverse, another Fusion Recovery for Fluffles. Are Fluffles playable? Do we have um, Fusion Sub? Is that banned? What do you think? Is Fusion Sub banned if Polly is banned? Hmm. Its name is always treated as Polymerization. Uh, I mean, what did he even hit from this? He just limited all tear. So going back into this pack would help us get things like Pleiades, which we don't have. I don't know. Roid? Yeah, not the Vyoko Roid pack. No, thank you. If I'm not willing to take a pack in Roulette, I'm probably not willing to take it in Master Saga. That's for sure. Tealman's Havness. Oh my god, wait! Tealman's Havness! We have Kick Kellos! And then the I Meet You, the Adding Nister pack. Hmm. We actually have some options, I feel like. Pack number nine. What do we got? Tackle Crusader? Scary Moth is pretty funny, actually. Dark Bribe! Let's go! I mean... Dark Bribe's not bad. I think we are kind of at the point, though, where, like, monster effects are actually way more impactful than Spell and Traps. Final pack here. Conquistador. Evolzar Lagia. Um, really, really strong Xyz monster. That pack, though, not so much. Um, let's see what we have and what we're going into. So I don't really want anything in the Phantom Knight pack with the exception of Rusty Pardish. I want Fog Blade, but we can get that in the five. We're going to do five, uh, five PK... 10 raid, I think. What happens when you get unlucky and get no fog blades? Well, then we get to do the additional five in here, and then we can do the 10 in raid raptor. We don't get the guaranteed, but it's okay. Jesus Christ, come on. Instant contact. No, oh, thank you. Uh, there's a sword. If we don't get fog blade, we can just chill on sword. Sword's good. I mean, those are pretty good. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Last pack. Hmm. No fog blade. You get one more. That was four. It will just be in this. Shit. Oh, good. It's pre-pack. What the hell is this? Ugh. Ah! Okay. Well. You gotta be fucking with me. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. That's okay. We want the commons. We want the commons. Nest is good. Raider's Wing is exact. This is exactly what we want. I have faith in the- I have faith in the birds, and they have faith in me. Singing Lanius is insane. That's all we wanted. That's all we fucking wanted. Uh, Banquet of Millions is interesting. Um, <laughs> while I appreciate Rev Falcon, I don't think we'll be making it particularly often. Another Raider's Wing. That's our playset, I think. Okay, now I want four Strix. That, wow, no monsters. They said, fuck you. You don't get shit. Mm, fuzzy outside the pack. Uh-huh. That's our second vanishing. Vanishing's crazy. That's our third Raider's Wing. Our second Singing Lanius. Soul Shave's nuts. It's our second Nest. I really just want four Strix here. Mimicry, very important that we have. Just getting the names is good. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting you here. It's our third fuzzy. Oh. oh, man. You just gotta believe in the birds, baby. You just gotta believe in the birds. You just gotta believe in the birds, baby. Kaka. Oh, okay. We got a Guido. A Guido. Oh! I don't remember asking. 
Ah, second mimicry too. That's nutty. We actually have almost a play set of all of the uh, raid raptors we wanted. That's truly unbelievable. Um, that's our first wild vulture. Awful card. Heal eagle is good. Uh, oh, oh my, my god. god! Wow, that's legitimately like the best possible card we could have gotten. All right, you know, not for nothing. Zero URs in 25 packs, by the way. Zero URs in... They knew I was using free gems. The free gems work different. Zero URs in 25 packs. Uh, but we did get everything we wanted. All right. I know this is a little bit wild because I have hit a card from here, but we're going to go five packs deep into the Dragon Spirit pack. I think Yang Zings would be a lot of fun to play and it would like totally catch MBT off guard now that I'm going into a pack that he went into. And uh, yeah, we also have some cool lifelines that could swap around our poles if we need to. I think that we could actually build a pretty competent worm deck. Also, importantly, okay, pretty good holes already chi win and uh, yang zing path importantly we already own a copy of monk so that is a big deal um obviously in the past when i went to this pack in saga i did not ever pull a copy of monk but we already have one of them so we're good um <laughs> so here we go uh pack number two uh, okay, Mare Mare, we got, I mean, Yang Zings, we got Fist of the Unrivaled Tenyi. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit inspired by Farfa, honestly, in Roulette. Uh, he made this pack look pretty strong, but also it's just like a solid pack. Like, I've gone into it, MT has gone into it, it's a good pack. Okay, here we go, pack number three. Another cross cheat. Oasis, a good pickup, and Draco Masters of the Tenyi. Not the greatest card ever, but it can, like, clear boards, kind of. Pack number four. Ooh, nothing. Skip. Abzo Router Dragon. Oh man, I miss those rocket cards. They're so much fun. Pack number five. <gasps> Ultra. A lot of good Ultras. Honestly, there's a lot of good Supers in this pack too. I think it's one of the reasons why I like this one. Ooh, it is an Ultra from the pack too. Reverse Jar. Yings in Creation, good pickup. Chow Fang, fantastic. Double and give it to the next person. <laughs> uh, I mean, okay, uh, double Chow Fang. Okay, sure. All right, 10 packs. Here we go. We got a craft, we got lifelines, we got everything. Ooh, okay, a lot of super rares. Like I said, the supers in this pack are very good. You got Baxias in there, you got Yazi in the super rare slot. A lot of cards that are good. Goddess Bow, Shadana, okay. Nine pillars, great pickup. Um, the third fucking Chow Fang. <laughs> Why does this happen? We're we've only opened six packs, I've opened three Chow Fangs. It's fucked up. Pack number two, please no more Chow Fangs. Cup of Ace, if we're feeling a little bit lucky. Amazon is Empress. Um, we got the Wind Tenny Spirit. Yangzing Creation. I think Yangzing Creation is like one of the most overpowered cards in sealed gameplay. Like, I think that card is nuts, and that's why I went into the pack. Another Chi Win. Good pickup. Our one copy of a shootout. Pack number four. Please do not give me a fucking Shao Feng. Okay, it's not even from the pack. Uh, Spider Orchid is actually a pop. Fabled! Fossil Dig. Interesting. I wonder if we have any dinosaurs that would be good generically. We'll have to take a look at that. Rarity upgrade. I'd like to see it. Oh, it was just bait. Zero copies of the tiny field spell pulled. I think that's a rare. Wabaku. Second copy of Monk. Great pickup. And then Adhara and Beyond. Okay, we're picking up some Yang Zing monsters. I think we don't have the water Yang Zing monster yet. And I think we only have one of the fire ones, so I'd like to see more copies of those, but we'll see. Um, okay, that's kind of funny. Oh, there's the uh, Flawless Protection. Yazi, great pick. All right, this pack was fucking crazy. Yazi, Baxia, and Flawless Protection. I mean, like, unironically, that's, I mean, what more could you possibly ask for out of a pack? Definitely, Definitely not, not more Chow Fangs. Wow, so we have everything except Deng Long, but good thing we have a couple more packs here. We'll see. Beyond again, Yangzing Path, another Waterfall, not bad. Draco Berserker, very good to see. I love Draco Berserker. I had this in a previous saga too. Um, it's just a really good generic level eight synchro. So we're only really missing, um, at least from what I can remember, Deng Long. We'll see though. Adhara, we got Circle, good pickup. Final pack here. Then we'll figure out what lifeline we're using. Shaman, I mean, Shaman is like good, but I think that you can like get away without playing it. Probably. Two copies of Bixie, third copy of Creation, I believe, and Zhao Tu in the final pack. That's actually like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is like really risky normally, but in a format with no hand traps, it could just win you the game going first. Uh, not a bad 15 packs. Let's get to deck building and see what we can come up with. So I'm feeling pretty good about this week. It's been frustrating to be kind of directionless for the past three, uh, but this Onmatopoeia pack really has breathed new life 
into my pool. Dodo Dwarf, Gogo -Go Gloves, Ubaba Bancho, Gaga -Go Coat, and Utopia Onomatopoeia are crazy, and getting into the rank four pack that is Raid Raptors has really elevated this deck. Four Strix is a good thing to go into with extra guys that doesn't lock you in the same way that uh, Utopic Sage does. Uh, Mimicry, Tribute, Raider's Wing, Strangle Lanius are unbelievable cards, as is Singing Lanius, and we're going to be using those in conjunction with the Raider's Knight, not only to, you know, like actually get to powerful monsters, but also to make our craft this week, Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon. Uh, this card's an OTK machine, but importantly, it's also a Towers. Can't be uh, destroyed by card effects, and if we've made it with uh, one of these Raid Raptor cards, uh, it also can't be targeted by card effects, which is going to be really hard for Doug to get over, uh, with one exception, which of course is Borlo Dragon. We're just going to cross that bridge when we get there. We also found one one more funny thing in the back of our pools that we can do going first. Um, you know, Rafflesia plus Utopic Sage usually doesn't get us all the way there, but Rafflesia plus Evil Swarm Nightmare does. Previously, we didn't have access to this because we didn't have a lot of dark monsters, but again, the Raid Raptor pack has really unlocked our ability to go into strong semi-generics like this one. Looking forward to this episode, feeling really good about it. However, there's still a lot that Doug can pull out of his butt to clap us. All right, here's a deck that we were able to come up with. It is Yangzing Tenny Synchro Turbo Pile of Cards. This is definitely a deck that would be a lot more powerful with Denglong, but I think even without Denglong, it should be pretty playable. We have a lot of good level eight synchros that we can go into here. And we also have Yazi, which I believe Joseph does not have. And because we have Yazi, we can really turbo around that card. So we have a lot of level four monsters that we can special summon. And we're even playing Toon Warrior with Unexpected Die to go into that Yazi. Regardless, I think this deck should be pretty good. I know that I've been playing a lot of going second decks the last few episodes, and I really wanted to play a more well-rounded deck today. Hopefully Joseph makes us go first. You know, he might do that he has been doing that and if he does that today we might actually have a pretty good turn one board for my craft i'm going to be going for shaman of the tenny a very strong link two monster and i'm going to be using the lifeline that lets me unlock any three common or rare cards from an open secret pack we're going to be going into one extra copy of circle and two copies of ashino which we did not unlock you better be careful because this time i'm gonna chew you up and i'm gonna spit you out buddy Ooh! oh you're letting me go first yeah go ahead oh. Okay. Wait, before I normal summon something, you've cheated in a previous episode. And it came to my attention between filming the first part of this and the second part of this. What that are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. You may have used, or at least tried to use, and then took back one of those lifelines. And I've been thinking about how to punish you for that. I like that, Daddy. And I think the uh, appropriate penalty, you know, I'm not going to make you take back whatever craft you did that week. You can keep that. But... Was Daddy getting angry? You can't use that uh, five packs from the previous week lifeline. You already got your chance. You, you took a shot. You regretted it. You took it back. But um, you don't get to use that one again. So that's my... There's my little penalty. You can use all the rest of them, though. <laughs> You're fine. Anyway, uh, normal summon... Toon Warrior. Did we reset our pools? What's uh? Activate flawless prote perfection. Not protection. <laughs> oh, you've been playing the solo mode, have you? <laughs> oh, All dude. right, go ahead. Uh, All right, well, I I guess enjoy your draws. Hey, Toon Warrior is a hell of a card. <laughs> Damn. I guess it is. I guess it is. I'll tell you what else is a hell of a card is um, Onamata Pyra. Yeah, that's not bad. That's just one looking. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not bad. Uh, yeah, you, that's sure. Oh my god! All right, we are going to uh, allow you to continue to draw. We're gonna go Sathana here. Oh, Got some ten years of my own. Very kind of you, sir. Right, go off, King. Yeah. Perfect. We are going to special summon ZS Arm Sage. Um, not bad. Let's go. Dinomiscus. You said Dinomiscus. <laughs> what do you mean? Fight. You're always triggering the field spell. You're always triggering the field spell. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got me. I am. Yeah, yeah. Chat, I can't wait for the XC summon. The Arm Sage Ooh, triggers what, what the immediately. Fuck was that? Nah, uh, Okay. Triggers immediately. Shit, let's normal Safana. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Where do we want to go from here? So, uh, ooh, that's a really... I mean, that's got to be it, right? I. Oh. Although this is also really good. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> no. You got some good rank fours in there. Not going to lie. 
All right, uh, Doug, you're going to check out uh, some new rank fours I may have added to my strategy. I'm talking about the Raid Raptors. Oh, no, you did Oh, didn't. yes, Doug. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, right, no, 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 no. This is not okay. This is not good. <laughs> uh, we have normal, regrettably. Why is this normal. generic? You know, who designed this card? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Raider's Wing? Okay. Hmm. We'll activate the effect of the Raider's Wing. I suppose. Sure. Get a material off this guy. Oh. There it is. There it is indeed. And we also have Singing Lanius. Up. Oh, you're a singing. Sure. Uh. <laughs> Shit. I mean, I guess so. I swear to God, <laughs> dude, if you summon another copy of Force Strikes, I'm going to scream. <laughs> Oh God! Wait, do you have? I don't even want it. No. Raiders Knight. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Go for the effect of Raiders Knight. Okay. We got a uh, Arc Rebellion or something else. It is Arc Rebellion. All right. Let me read this card real quick. Can't be destroyed by card effects, and also it can't be targeted, right? Because, or no, that was, this made the Raiders ring. Okay, uh, can't be destroyed by card effects, you can attach one. This card gains attack equal to the total attack of all their monsters on the field, then if this card's a dark exceeds material, it affects all the monsters on the field. Summon, summon response window? That's crazy. All right, we are going to go for it, I guess, you know, make them yeah. very big. 47, not bad. Uh, I suppose I'll try it. <clears throat> Let's activate Yang's in creation. Oh, that's disastrous. That is so fucking bad. And I just want to tell you now that I've revealed that I'm playing Yang Zings. The Yang Zing Sword Soul pack got announced and put into the game like two days after we played. <laughs> so I didn't unlock it. So I do just have the OG Yang Zing Tenyi pack, which isn't terrible. Which isn't terrible. But... I wonder if I just pass here. Oh god, creations. we didn't consider that. Oh, okay. We're still in attack declaration. Dad, I can't keep him off normals. I know Mishus is gonna live no matter what. Yeah, they're Dad, both. I normals. gotta let you have this. We're just chilling. Okay, so this card can currently still not be destroyed by card effects. Got it. That's correct. Um That is not bad. Okay, let's normal summon Beyond. That's insane. Yeah, I think that has to always be the play. Attack. Yeah. Activate creation. Mm -hmm. Activate Beyond. Man, I didn't realize that you would have like an actual fucking towers here. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> it's pretty good. You've got outs. You know. Like, technically, but they're kind of slow. So it's like, I don't really know. Um, You know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, well, Chat, this card can't be targeted. It can't Raiders. be targeted or destroyed. Uh, that's a cool card. Just so we all know. Just so we all know. Are we going to do this? I think so. Um. I'm okay. Chilling. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, Chad has figured out what we're waiting on. Let's go normal summon. Let's gotta be careful about this. Oh, jeez, come on, dude. <laughs> yeah, make Yazi activate effect. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna miss my four tricks. Activate creation. Activate Swanee. Yep. 
Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And then. <clears throat> Draco Berserker? Oh, my god. Uh, sure. Battle attack? Ooh, sure. that is not enough attack points. Not enough. Not enough attack points. But it was worth a shot. Um, <laughs> let's go. Well, I guess I can just. So you are, isn't it? Yeah, I might as well just do this now. No reason to wait. Summon Herald of the Arclight? Sure. Go ahead. An interesting one. Yeah. Okay, we're rolling, we're rolling. It's creation, I guess. Jesus, I'm gonna have to get through every fucking guy in the universe. <laughs> every Yang Zing in the game. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, yeah. What can I do here? Would have been nice a little while ago. I too am interested. Uh, go ahead. No, there, there is an out to this. It's just like, it's like the same thing when we played that the <laughs> the old school game where there was an out to the obelisk. It was just like three cards that worked together. Um, yep. Hey. I see. We're out. That's something. Um, yeah, go ahead. You're good. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Uh oh. This guy. Uh, yeah. So, Harold was made with Beyon. Yeah. Can't be stirred by battle. Kidding me. Jeez. Oh, okay. Well, it is what it is. Yeah. Um. No. I was gonna do that. Take this. You got him. I don't know how we're gonna out that guy. I actually do. It's just about, that it takes some doing. About to say, I mean, it, it's not like protected or any. I mean, it's protected one way, but not like. What? I don't know. Maybe oh, I mean, that's a good card. Uh oh. Do it? <laughs> Smashing um, that. That's. Well, because I drew this, probably not. You know that that will um that'll do it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I mean I can Canadia? do this. I can Canada. Annoying. Do you have a ritual to summon? You know, not today. Okay, this is a draw. Um, man, that guy's just too big. He's a large man. No, I think I'm getting locked out from the creation here, actually. Yeah. Yeah, you just have 18 face down. I guess technically you don't have lethal. Okay. Yeah, let's that. Go ahead. I mean, technically I don't have, oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Technically. <laughs> Yeah. But that's like a really funny thing I can do. I probably, uh, like, in hindsight, I should have saved the Berserker until there was a guaranteed, like, I don't even know, like, 47. I don't know. Like yeah. 3,400. That doesn't really make any sense. I'd have to attack over, like, I'd have to attack over two things. Doesn't it only keep the first thing? I don't even know. This card. This guy? Card. Yeah, it does. Um, yeah. You know, th no this is the thing. Respect. People complain about the kaijus, but then <laughs> it's like the kaijus oh, would have resolved a lot with, of problems. Yeah, here. without the kaiju. 
No, it's just the MBT fans enjoy watching the MBT summoning the big monster more than they enjoy watching it get kaiju. And I, under I understand that entirely. Um, 16, 18. I knew it was the MBT fans' fault. Cowboy. Yes. Cowboy? Just talking about cowboy. You said cowboy anything. Oh, I guess around? you could let me live. You actually just straight up know I have cowboy in the extra, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll try it. Let's uh, see if you have another Canadian or something. <laughs> You're good, man. You're fine. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, well, that was uh, that was an interesting game. That was that's Yu-Gi-Oh without kaiju's, defense. baby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's you can go to still game play them. I will say, I think that game would have been a lot different if you didn't flip up creation and lock yourself out of Borlo. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it's what. <sighs> what can you do? But it's so good. I mean, like you can't not play creation. It's insane. Uh, this hand is looking a little, <laughs> a little less crazy. Um, maybe this deck wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> no, this deck was crazy. Uh, I'm going to your stream. I'm going to see what you, what, what you've opened Stop. here. Oh, mm. uh, it's looking, it's looking pretty good from my perspective. I got to tell you, it's looking yeah, pretty yeah. good from my perspective. Oh my god. Well, then you are lost. Yeah. <laughs> so it's creation and a guy. I gotta out you don't exactly even later. know. <laughs> you don't know my story. You don't uh, know I'm my life. The, I'm opening up the stream. You don't know where I'm from. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't help, right? You've already said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, well, oh my as they say out west, you better have drawn that ash. Mm. Oh, he's got it. Yeah, All fair. Right, let's go, Safana. Sure. Is there anything I can do about that creation? Let me just figure out if I have to, if I can play around creation in any sort of meaningful capacity. Regrettably, there is an out. Regrettably, there is an out. Uh, do I put you on creation or do I expect you're playing other trap cards on here? I didn't see any. You could be on flawless perfection and it could just be a bluff, but you had something to respond with. Uh, you know, let's just let's just find out together, you and I. Yeah, together. Oh. Man, your deck's what? good. I, you watched me add these cards to the hand. I know. <laughs> it's, just like, it's just like it just un, it starts unraveling, you know. Now this thing revives something, and this guy can still yeah, yeah. Um, these guys special. are special. Yeah, no, this is pretty strong. I don't even need Utopia. Fuck, fuck a Utopia. Yeah, you don't need hope. You have good cards. <laughs> I'm the one that needs the hope. <laughs> Uh, okay, so unfortunately, the way in which I've done this, I don't get any free bodies off this. So we go. One, two, and then I put you on Jesus Christ. This, put me on this... Jesus Christ? Well, no. he. I don't Better think draw God position. himself, or <laughs> you can't be the born. No, this is We're a deck that um, looks like if, if you just added a Denglong to the extra, it's like 50 times as powerful. It's like the crazy. Hey, you know, thing. dude, I have a Denglong. You I have a Denglong, Denglong without any of these other cards. I have all the other cards without Denglong. So what are you going to do? Yeah. Four strikes, sure. Uh, okay, oh, we have show. to do this in a very specific order. No, you don't. Just click the highlighted cards and summon you Utopia from your extra. <laughs> yeah. There Any reason we didn't use the Dodo for the grave effect? Okay, chat, uh, this is uh, rough, but Dodo grave effect isn't going to fire because we... um. <laughs> He already used it this turn so in the previous episode because it hasn't been posted yet so i don't actually know um did you play the double or nothing in that you didn't search it ever i didn't no. no yeah but this is pretty cool that you can like double or nothing into lightning or any of the yeah. the cards it's weird in that so you can rank up from double into arc v or lightning without mm -hmm. ever having to do anything but uh it requires you to play double or nothing which i hate doing yeah, fair. Okay, we're just gonna go strangle Lanius. Strangle away. Yep. Singing Lanius. Oh my god, these fucking cards. Oh no. You haven't fucking normal summoned yet? No yes, I way. I normal the Utopia. The singing Lanius is a special. Oh, it like. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Uh, oh, it was just it inherent, so like it no. immediately came. Okay, I was like. <laughs> Right. Damn, dude. 
Raiders Knight. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I think we are. You mean a built-in summon? Summon that didn't start a chain. Okay, we will go <laughs> Raiders Knight. Sure. Pitch singing Lanius. And this is so unsexy. I'm so sorry about this. We're just going combat. Oh, yes, dude. That's what I like to fucking see. Okay, second main. <laughs> we... Arc Rebellion pitching the oh, Raiders Knights. Oh, you can do it. Knights, oh, because so it negates it all negate other monsters. Guy. Bro, fuck you, man. No, I'm just kidding. This is actually pretty crazy. Too. <laughs> no, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. <laughs> fuck this debt. Oh, my God. I drew the... Oh, my God. Fuck it. <laughs> How did it go? Good draw? I'm never not putting God using a deck ever again. <laughs> So I do have an out for you, Doug. If you flip up that set copy of creation uh, and then normal a guy and walk into Arc Rebellion, you can trigger the creation. <sighs> yes. Okay, we're dying. We're dying here. Chat, I did the best with what I had. Gonna... I don't tell you. I, all the cards are hit. Like, I'm, I'm going to be cool with this. Oh, Mabuda. <laughs> Mabuda Madonna. <laughs> oh, this is actually Nahata. Oh, Nahata. yeah. Oh, fucking does. Is Yazi? the yeah yeah Yazi? All right, there's just no way in hell. Okay, dude. You um, should have limited this card. I don't know why you let me have. I this know card. it's it's crazy powerful. Um, boy, I tell you, man. <laughs> Bangers all. Okay, you let's know, uh, resolve the effect. I I here. wasn't. Ah! I have a few lists floating around, and I wasn't. I mean, floating, Yang Zing joke. Uh, but I wasn't going to play Creation in all of them. But when you told me um, when we were going to play last week and you said you needed some more time to figure things out, I was like, oh, he's probably not playing something Fuck good. Off. Oh, that's that's a funny draw, actually. That's... Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I needed time to figure it out because the, uh, the Raid Raptor stuff is really hard to play. Well, yeah, and it's these like... combos are like you're combining two decks that really have never been combined they aren't supposed before. to be together <laughs> yeah but they're rank four centric so it makes sense and they're kind of like they got some yeah damn i messed up my fucking zones <laughs> oops you uh, messed up the right, zones just... you're playing an exes deck well yeah i'm I, one of these exes could be in the emz oh sure i never think about that in the moment okay so yazi i have to walk over with the utopia the lightning the other one, do I want to let you proc creation? You flip up the creation. I think it's okay. If we had three mats on field, we could have done C mask. You're right, chat. All right, let's just go to combat. Yeah. So I guess there's a possibility that the set card is like, yeah, is really low or high defense and I can just get a peek at it with the utopic. Maybe. Creation, okay. Damn it. Ah, damn it. All right, okay. Um, That's fine. Creation one, beyond two. Some of this in defense. It worked last time, right? So it must be good. Yeah. Let's try it out. Uh, activate mm. this. Cat. Wowie zowie. Chat, this was not going for funny pull. You can't. You can't pretend like the 10 you pack I is I think bad. I actually had lethal and I just I threw it. I cannot pretend that. It's funny. Okay, we have we have a funny play here. An unstoppable board versus one arc light. Who would win? <laughs> it's Rapplesia. There she is. Okay. Um, What do you think I can draw here? Oh. Is that it? I don't know. I guess we'll this isn't out. as funny. Oh, Chad, come on. You have no idea what's about to happen, do you? It's funny. <laughs> you will laugh when I tell you to laugh. Uh, what? Oh, you have the fucking... <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I w okay, so <laughs> earlier when you were going through your outs, I was like 100% you have Utopia the Lightning, but I was pretty sure you also had this too. But I, I do, didn't want to yeah. ask to you know put you on it. Um, Obviously. Yeah, I mean, I can arc light, but GG's, man. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Cool. This deck's crazy. <laughs> uh, Maybe I my think deck this is, deck is really good, but I think that also, I don't know what you're playing. It's not working out. Um, Yeah, I mean, we just didn't pull... Uh, Deng Long, so... We're just playing Yang Zing Tenyi and doing our best. Doing We're our just best. chilling. We're doing our best. <laughs> yeah, no, it's um, it's something. But no, I honestly feel like this deck's better than um, you might think it is because if you open like, yeah. if you open any three like monster cards, you can set up like Berserker on turn one, and you can set up like you know you have the fists. Like there were some hands where you do it. Like if you open Circle, you can get to Bore Load because you make Monk and then tribute the Monk for the Circle, and that gets you there. But it's you it's Axia. I was I was wondering about that. I don't yeah. know. Like I know you're gonna get some hate in the comments for playing this deck, but I think it's like a pretty decent choice. No Danglong sucks, but it's a UR, so what are you going to do? There just um, wasn't another choice. This is clearly better than, like, Resonator. <laughs> like, I don't know. No, yeah, I mean, like, uh, you it's have three Adhara, three, uh, you have the one, oh, Vishut is limited, right? You have the Vishut two. Is limited, yeah. Uh, Ashana. Uh, and your your eight pool is just fucking stellar. It's yeah, and like I have the nine pillars, I have fists. So this deck actually like it has uh, more so than any other deck. Like it has like what ten cards here, nine cards here. It can draw turn one to set up in a gate, but just not quite good enough. Your deck looks insane. Um, that's like yeah, so every level four monster that says special summon itself. That's and that's what it is. Wow. Uh, we went into the we opened actually Raid Raptor and Phantom Knight. And the reason I asked you about like can I craft something from outside the pack is yeah. because. Uh, Rusty is in the Phantom Knight pack, and I was like, ooh, I want to do Rusty, and then I was like, no, we're not going to do the Phantom Knight season again. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I crafted Arc Rebellion, which I think is actually unironically better for my I tools. mean, it seemed fucking insane there. Like, honestly, like, yeah. towers both games. was crazy. Still kind of struggling to get it going first play going, but Four Strix helps a lot, a lot with yeah, that. Yeah, like, actually give you something and, to um, do. Mm -hmm. The one thing I didn't get to do that we were dreaming up at the very end is uh, we cut the Zexal Force rank up okay. and put in Numeron Force so that if we have three fours, one of which is Armed Sage, which is pretty easy to get to, um, you can do it off an Automata Pyro. You have the Chaos you Masquerade. masquerade <laughs> into Chaos Masquerade. Oh my god. Chaos Masquerade. This is like masquerade. a good card, but it's, it's like Pops a Speller Trap, negates. Okay, well, actually, that's kind of nuts if it resolves. <laughs> Yeah, no, if it resolves, you do win. I mean, you just got to get there. Okay, okay. I uh, I got to get back to the kitchen to start cooking up a deck that can maybe win next week. Uh, GG's. All right, 10 packs. Wait. Fix my hair a little bit. <clears throat> All right, 10 packs, here we go. <laughs> <laughs>